Hey friends, just want to give my thoughts and opinions about the ammo shortage. Kind of fits into what I've got going with my contest. The question was, what are your thoughts, feelings, opinions about a potential ammo shortage? And what are you going to do about it? And what have you been doing about it? What I brought out are my travel cans. These are cans that are loaded up with specific ammo that um, if I happen to grab a couple guns, I could just grab a can or two and be all set. So I've got them. I've got them organized exactly how I want them and I brought out the AR just so you can get a look at that and then there's some more uh, some more ammo up there now this is my travel ammo this is if I'm gonna go shooting I can grab a can and away I go I don't have to think too much about it on the right I've got my handgun travel ammo so there I've got 300 rounds of 45 40 and 9 millimeter just gone grab it gone <laughs> on the uh, Next to that is 400 rounds of 223. Next to that is 500 rounds, maybe 550, of uh, my AK ammo, 762 by 39. Uh, next to that is the Remington UMC. It's got 1,000 rounds of 9mm. Now, if you recall, during the ammo shortage, the 9mm was approximately $18, $19, dollars for a box, 50 target ammo. Um, don't want to get caught in that again. So, once again, these are my travel cases. On the left is my personal defense ammo. I've got a whole bunch of 40, 45, and 9mm uh, personal defense as well as 22 Magnum. Up top here, I've got some Hornady 223 on the right, bucket of 556, then uh, some 40 Smith & Wesson in the blue case, some target load, shotgun, some slug shotgun, 22 long rifle, and up top, some more hollow point 45 bottles. My thoughts, first, my, my, my first thought is I'm not getting caught like I did last time. Last time I got caught by surprise. I think a lot of it was politically motivated because when our current president got in there, there was a fear, and rightfully so, that our gun rights would be infringed upon. And uh, and like I say, rightfully so. Uh, he, he has done enough and said enough in his tenure in, in uh, public office, to give that fear. And so what happened? People started hoarding ammo. And then there you run into a supply-demand issue. And then what you have are long lines and shortages and unavailability to get ammo. And when you did, it was a big, it was a big score. If you got to a Walmart or a Gander Mountain when, when they got their shipment in, it was a big score. So I'm not going to get caught in that trap again. And I do believe, like most people who send in their video responses, that we are on the verge of an ammo shortage. And prices started hiking up already. So that is a definitely a concern of mine. I'm, it's not a fear. I'm not fearful because I'm well prepared. And once again, this is just my travel. This is the stuff I grab when I decide I'm going to go shoot and I know exactly what ammo can to grab. So I, I do have more than this. Uh, I'm not going to show everything that I have, but I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of what I do when I am going to go shooting and some of the preparations that I've made to prepare for this potential ammo shortage. I want to thank everybody so far who has submitted a video response answering my question about the ammo shortage, potential ammo shortage, and what their thoughts, feelings, and their preparations are about it so uh, I really appreciate it. I've really enjoyed watching I'm really glad I did this contest because I got so many uh, good video responses so many good opinions most are of the same opinion that there is going to be an ammo shortage but uh but also I made a lot of good friends so I'm really happy that uh, this contest is going that that well right now I've got approximately 40 maybe 41 video responses but there are 10 days left in this and uh, here are the 10 knives but I did make a change the change is picked up another knife so what is here is another task force spring assisted knife I was at a local gun show and I picked up another one the main reason why is because when I originally showed this Winchester this is kind of cheap <laughs> and uh, you know it's a utility kind of kind of knife but it's kind of cheap and I don't feel that any subscriber of mine should be getting a cheap knife so it's actually going to turn into an 11 knife giveaway so you'll have another spring assisted tag force 
to join the group. So um, get those video responses in. Uh, I'm really enjoying watching them. Um, just uh, getting people's opinions, making new friends. Just learning all I can and giving back what I can. That's what it's all about here on YouTube and helping people out in the process. So uh, hopefully... Uh, you guys will get in on this. If you do, that's great. we got 10 more days, and then they'll be drawing for the 11 knife. That's ah, called the 10 knife giveaway, but it's actually 11 knife giveaway. So, uh, as always, thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Check that out. I've got a little bit of cleaning to do, don't I? Dang. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys be safe.